Always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. Hi, everybody. All right, we're 91 degrees. Uh, it is hot. Uh, it's iced coffee kind of weather, right? Uh, 103, the feels like temperature right now. We're southeast winds. A little gusty, but it's helping us out. The sea breeze came in and triggered a couple of showers. We still have heat advisories, so we have two. One for Miami Day that goes through 8 o'clock for heat indices, 103 to 107, and then up to 110 for the Florida Keys. But that one expires in less than an hour, so we'll be done with that. And even in Miami Day, things have come down a bit, right? Because we've had a few showers that have helped out a little bit. I mean, you can see where the temperature is in the upper 80s. That's normal for this time of year, but it took rain to get us there. 91 in Miami still at this hour. So you factor in the humidity, which is what's driving the weather really in that will still give you heat indices of the low 100s. You felt it out there this today. It's just as thick as it gets. The air as you walked outside just hit you like a wall here. Still, the sea breeze came in that dropped temperatures a couple of degrees, and then we started popping a few showers here right over Hard Rock. Those have since disappeared likewise across to Fort Lauderdale, but that came right over the airport sensor there. So that's why the temperature came down to the upper 80s. So here we go as we head in through tomorrow. We're done with today still in the purple. That means extreme as far as the heat related health risk and the difference between major and extreme is that we don't cool off at night. I don't expect that either tonight as temperatures stay in the 80s. But look at the colors getting a little bit better right as we head into Sunday. The reason for that thunderstorms and then as we continue with some rainfall here through early Monday, we'll be back in the yellows in no time. So we have a couple more days. In fact, tomorrow really the worst of it because I think we we still get hot Sunday, but the difference between Saturday and Sunday is that Sunday will spend less time in the heat because we do have some storms coming and they'll continue as I mentioned on Monday. And in fact, this front comes all the way down, but a disturbance rolls along it. So that's going to keep things unsettled with afternoon thunderstorms, but temperatures are going to get back to the 80s and that's going to feel wonderful after we've had uh, multiple record highs uh, throughout the week today. Of course, we did it again today in both Miami and Fort Lauderdale. Quiet evening as far as rain. You don't need the rain gear, no umbrellas. Now for Saturday, it could be a few spotty showers right along the coast. I think exactly what happened today is going to be underway for uh, tomorrow. So most of us are going to stay on the dry side. Different story with more moisture coming in as that front begins to approach. Look at Sunday already. You can see the signs of what's going to happen through the afternoon and then we pop nicely here and not just up in Broward. Most of us getting in on some good showers and thunderstorms for Sunday. They continue three o'clock heading into five. This is more wet season kind of a setup here. And then, as I mentioned, that continues that pattern that wetter pattern heading into the early part of next week. We're looking good low for rip currents. No Atlantic threats or keys as far as your boat. South winds 5 to 10 knots light chop conditions. So we're looking good. Temperatures tomorrow though still hot in the mid 90s and that's going to make it feel like it's in the upper 100s here. So about 105 to 110. We'll do that with mostly sunny skies and then the rain chances coming back at us here as we hit through Sunday. That looks wetter to me as does Monday and Tuesday before we bring temperatures and chances of rainfall back down by midweek. Ivan, thank you.